All right, so today at Man Cave Tools, we are gonna go over this little angle level. This is made by Client Tools, so let's go over the specs of this really quick and slap this on some saws and see how accurate my saws really are. I do hope if you guys got this that your saws are more accurate than mine actually are. And this little gadget weighs 3.4 ounces. All right, just to show you the difference between the two, let's do the full 180 first. See, then it goes to in the hundreds. As you can see, the display is staying straight. Then it's gonna go back. All right, next let's do the 90. Got a hold to put it to just 90. And then it's going down. So there you go. And just so you guys know that you could also use these for pipes, for a plumbers could use these for pipes. Actually, that's what Klein designed this for, uh, is for electricians and plumbers. But when it comes to saws, as you can see, you could also use these to uh, make sure that your angle of your saw is accurate. All right, so I do got my 18 volt, 10 inch sliding miter saw right here. All right, it's reading. So like I said, only one side has a, a magnet on it. Doesn't have a magnet, doesn't have a magnet, doesn't have a magnet, and that's where the magnet is. Alrighty, so this is supposed to be at 90 degrees, but it is 98.4. So this saw is not 100% accurate. It is on its own stand. Let's see in how well the 45 degree angle sits. All right, that's 89.5. Let's do a 45 degree angle and let's see what numbers it reads. Right, so as you can see, it is 44.7 degrees instead of 45. It's barely not hitting it, but yeah, that will not go anymore. That is 90, and that says 89.7. So let's go over to the table saw. And as you can see, just by sitting on my bench top, it does not level itself. We'll actually do the same thing with the other with the with the stand as well. Let's raise that up. All right, so as you can see that this actually isn't at a 90 degree angle perfectly, even though it says that it is. Let's so now because I have that, I could actually put this to 90 degrees. It says it's 89.9. Almost. That's actually right there. That's as far as that goes. So this this only goes to 89.9, which it's, to be honest, that's close enough. It, it won't actually make this into 90 degrees. 89.8, but let's go to 45 degrees and we'll read, we'll compare what it says on the saw. That's as far 
That's as far as that goes. It's loose. It's as you can see, it's loose. Forty-five point seven. Forty-five point eight. Forty-five point nine. Forty-six. Forty-five point nine. But as you can see, we cannot get this to stay at forty-five degrees. That's as far as that that'll go. There are factors when it comes to this saying exactly 45 degrees because whatever rig you have up when it comes to table saws or your miter sliding miter saw, it needs to be perfectly level for any of these to read accurately. And so this table is not so, but there you go, 45.7 degrees. I'm pretty sure with some adjustments to the table, it will read 45 degrees, but let's actually do a level. I'll put a level on this. Yep, that is not level at all. But yeah, that's pretty much level. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Yeah, that's 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 pretty level. But as you guys can see, it is at 45.4 degrees. So yeah, but, but like I said, if you have a leveled rig, which if you're a carpenter, you'd be like if you're a fine-tuned furniture maker you would want this especially for the extremely accurate cuts that need to be accurate for a seamless uh, connection between wood. I do recommend you get this because I'm going to use this for now on every time that I use my miter saw or, or table saw and I, it's great to have. It is seriously great to have. And if you need the other side 45.4 degrees. All right, so I just wanted to point this out to you guys. If you guys ever thought about getting this and you just needed a few more videos to decide that you do want to get it and you need to be convinced that much more, I hope this video helped you out. All right, so as you can see that my saws aren't really 100% accurate, but for a DIYer, it is close enough. When it comes to furniture people, they actually need their saws to be a perfect 90 degree angle or a 45 degree cut or an accurate reading of whatever cut that they actually need. This little guy would actually help you out with that when it comes to making your cuts perfect to what you need them to do. Now remember, if you're in a furniture making, your rig is level itself because it needs to be so this would be more accurate. Now this table is not level as you guys saw. It is over here this way it is 1.1 degrees off and if I go this way it is 0.2 degrees off. This will also help you make your rig level. I'm actually glad I got this. I will be using this for now on to make sh to see what my angles are at on my saws. So that's pretty much it you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.